Day two of the second week started on a high for the Rhythmic Girls, with the Level 7 Junior Girls competing in their championship events. Eden Pascoe won the all-around title with Anna Stewart rounding out a top two finish for New South Wales. Both girls also claiming a gold, silver and bronze in the apparatus medals. The Acro Level 8 to 10 athletes competed their balance and dynamic routines, whilst our trampolinists added to their growing medal tally with the start of the tumbling and synchronised events. Saray took out the under 11 tumbling, Liam and Holly clean sweep the under 13 tumbling for New South Wales, and Jordan Fletcher edged out Leighton for a 1 2 finish in the under 15 boys. And in the synchronised competition, Michael and Brendan took out the under 17 event, with Kerry and Michael taking gold in the 17 plus. The trampoline results continued into the next session, with Ashley leading New South Wales to a top three placing in the under 15 girls event, with Corey taking gold for the boys. The Rhythmic Level 7 Junior Girls finished the second part of their competition, with Annalise Harper finishing with the all-around bronze. It was a dominant display from the New South Wales acrobatic team, claiming a clean sweep of both the Junior International 11-16 events. Jodie Sim and Millie Hulse topped the podium for the women's pair, whilst our soon-to-be World Age Championship representatives Madison, Michaela and Jessica won the group competition. The medals kept coming for our trampoline team in the International Trampoline and DMT Finals. Imogen Florian and Leighton Paget headed a top two finish in both the youth, girls and boys competitions respectively. These have both managed to pick up a gold medal each. Uh, How does it feel to uh, be national champions? Uh, really good. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. The first time we go to the national, so yeah, very exciting. NT is one of my main yep. events. Um, it's my favourite, so I was going hard for that. And I'm very happy that I can go. And obviously you have have been competing together um, across the across the week, so it must be good to have that um, little rivalry or keep yourselves on top of your game. Yeah, me, me and Leighton often have a bit of rivalry in our events. Yeah, always head to head. For a couple of years we've been going head to head for some of our comps. So. Joshua Ibrahim was able to edge out Dominic Clark to the Junior International DMT title, while Matt Wheel made it a clean sweep of the men's DMT events by taking the Senior International Australian title. Kira Ward was able to take the Junior International Trampoline title Leanne Van Rensburg and Matt Wheel both grabbing silver in the senior events. Evening's acrobatic session saw the junior 12 to 18, 13 to 19, and senior international groups take to the floor for their balance and dynamic routines. New South Wales's competitors were placed well and ready to finish their competition off with Friday's combined routines.
and in rhythmic, Alex Edel was able to make it two Australian Championships in a row by winning the Level 9 Junior event in impressive fashion. The Level 9 Junior team also took away the silver medal. Alex, uh, second year in a row, national title, how's it feel? Quite amazing actually. After my ball routine I wasn't so sure what was going to happen because the ball wasn't the world's greatest, but yeah, it's really exciting. It's really nice having the crowd like behind me cheering me on and it was good to group because it got all the nerves out because it was earlier before individuals. And how are you guys enjoying the state team experience? Uh, it's really good. Like, get to catch up with a lot of my mates. Really enjoy it. Yeah, good catching up with all the boys. A week off school. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good.